Soil health is a key concern in Africa. According to the latest Montpellier panel report, up to 65% of land in Africa is degraded. Despite being well structured, the soils in Chamoyo are nutrient deficient. This is problematic for food security as crops cannot grow on exhausted soils. At the soil improvement demonstration plots, Farmers are trialing six combinations of inputs and agroecological practices to grow maize. They are testing the PAN 53 hybrid variety, which is high yielding, matures quickly, and is disease resistant. But most importantly, the soil in the area has been mapped to show which nutrients are needed where. We want to move away from N, P, K, just nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium to something that contains the sulfur, the boron, the zinc. These are called the secondary and micronutrients. Most of the fertilizers available are missing. But when you analyze the soils, the soils are deficient in those. And the, the, you require them in very small amounts, but small amounts can make a big difference in yield. The most successful trial uses a combination of NPK fertilizer, that is nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, plus lime. Importantly, the plants are also spaced 25 centimeters apart. The fertilizer is applied in a very small, precise amount, measured from a bottle lid, which we call microdosing. This replaces the nutrients depleted from the soil directly to the plant root. The lime reduces soil acidity and encourages better uptake of nutrients from the plants. Members of the Zano Romambo Farmer Association explain that the soil health program is having a big impact. The association has been able to double its yields and income from maize from a combination of access to improved seeds, fertilizer, training, and by virtue of the increased purchasing power that comes from being in an association. I visited with the association's president, Fernando Consal. With his increased income, he has been able to build a better house, send his children to school, buy a motorbike to get to and from the market, and buy a solar panel for charging mobile phones. Farmers need easy access to inputs through a local supply of improved seeds and appropriate fertilizers. I met Emilia Savayao, an agro-dealer who serves 300 farmers. She was trained in business management and good agronomy by Agra. In addition to selling inputs, she also gives advice to farmers on how to best manage their soil and the right types of fertilizer to use. This is very important because as we have seen, Different soils need different kinds of nutrients. This trip to Mozambique showed that soil testing, access to the right types of inputs, selective targeting of fertilizers, training and participation in farmers associations improve food security and livelihoods. For the Montpellier panel's recommendations for conserving, restoring, and enhancing Africa's soils, visit our website.